Okay, it's on. Yeah, but your head's cut off. What if I dip down like this? It's too far. Hey, it's HJ. So, I was thinking about something while I was in the shower, hence the wet hair. And I was like, dang, I really feel like this is one of the biggest things in my life that I did wrong as a new Christian. That I did absolutely wrong. I failed at this. So I was thinking maybe I could share it with you. Maybe it's something you've never thought of before. Maybe it's something you know about and you just need a refresher, a reminder. And I think that this is one of the biggest things that Christians do wrong. Maybe we're at work, we're talking to our colleagues. Maybe we're at school, we're talking to our peers at school. And maybe we're, I don't know, we made friends at our job and we're talking to our non-Christian friends. But I think one of the biggest things that we do wrong as Christians is we talk to non-believers about sin, assuming that they know what sin is. Did you catch that? Listen up. We talk to non-believers about sin, assuming that they know what sin is. That's a good one. I screwed up my life this way. <laughs> Not my whole life. Uh, time period. Roman, you're making me nervous because you're sitting right there. Yeah. Just want you to know that you've 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 brought the nerves to me. Don't worry, I'm only judging. <laughs> so we can talk to our colleagues and our friends, and we can say, "Well, I don't do this, that, and the other because that's sin." Oh, do you want to go to the? Sh I promise you, I've had this happen before. I've had coworkers invite me to the strip club with them, or to a party, or after work to get drunk. Do you want to come out with us this weekend? They invited me today. That's where we're going. Shut up, Roman. I'm trying to be serious. And um, and I was just like, I don't really do that. Like, I'm a Christian and that's a sin or I believe that's a sin. I'll always refer to things that I don't want to do or reasons why I don't do things is because like, that's a sin. That's a sin. That's a sin. And in their mind, they're just like, okay. And it, it doesn't ever really make an impact on their life. And in my mind, I think I'm like sharing the truth of God because I'm like, I don't do that because that's sin. I'm not, I'm not going to get down with you guys like that because that's sin. And in my mind, I'm like, yeah, I'm showing them the way of Christ. I'm showing them how to live holy. I'm showing them how to be a child of God. And I think that I'm doing well. But what I'm really doing is just like kind of pushing them away a little bit or even further maybe confusing them about what Christianity is because I'm making it look like Christianity is all about like do's and don'ts, religious works. I don't do this because it's sin. I do this because it's not sin. And I make Christianity look like a to-do list instead of me saying, oh, like that actually doesn't bring glory to God or like that isn't obedient to Christ and like I follow Christ and I want to be obedient to him because he loved me and because I love him and I I don't explain what sin is to them and so maybe instead of just saying oh I can't or I won't do that because that's that's sin maybe explain the gospel it explain how like we lived a life contrary to Christ we lived a life contrary to what um, is holy in what is righteous in God's eyes. We live that sinful life, but because Christ died for us, he took away our sin in God's eyes and that we are holy in front of a righteous God. We are holy to a holy God when we don't deserve it. And because of that, I don't want to go because I want to live a life that shows gratitude and gratefulness to God for taking me out of a life of sin so I don't want to continue to tread in that I don't want to continue to walk in it and you make it not about what you do or don't do but make it about who God is and what he's done for you and that is living out the gospel that is showing people the truth not a to-do list do you get what I'm saying so I just want to encourage you don't assume that people know what sin is explain it to them explain the truth explain your whys and you will build relationships that way. Christ can use that kind of conversation to save somebody. And that's just how we live out the gospel. Did I forget anything? No. Oh my gosh, look at this floor right now. <laughs> oh, snuggles. Okay, we have to go. And yeah, but I love you guys. So just think about what I'm saying and peace out.